Currently residing at the Missouri Veterans Home Warrensburg, Kenneth Hale is a lifelong resident of Missouri, growing up in Prairie Home, California, and Kansas City. In World War II, Kenneth served in the Army Air Force, first as a glider pilot and later as a lieutenant piloting a B-17, flying for six months and 32 missions. On his last mission, Lieutenant Hale and his crew had finished bombing a target southwest of Berlin when three engines lost power and the fourth engine froze. The B-17 crew parachuted out and Hale was captured and held as a prisoner of war for five months. Mr. Hale and his daughter, Barbara Cotillon, sat down to share his experience as a POW. Yes, this paper was written by my uh, longtime girlfriend's grandson, Jonathan Lukenholder, who was a student at the U.S. Naval Academy in Annapolis, Maryland. And um, he wrote this 13-page document. It's really quite comprehensive about Dad's um, time in uh, England, flying from uh, England with 32 missions primarily over Germany until the plane on his last mission actually went down and um, they had to parachute out. Um, the paper talks a lot about um, Dad's training, but then also with his capture, he, when they parachuted out of the airplane, they landed in a forest and he could hear the Germans chopping wood and uh, he tried to gather his parachute up and hide behind some um, ground cover but they he they found him and he when he turned around they had a pistol pointed at him and that's how he remembers being captured but um, also while they were uh, in the prisoner of war camp they had a lot of scarcity both in terms of clothing and food and i like to say that in growing up that always provided well for us in terms of our food. We had really good quality food and lots of it. And we always attributed that to the fact that um, when he was a prisoner of war, they didn't have a lot of food. And he would say that they made pie crust out of crackers. And uh, anyway, um, so, but the, he, the, where they were uh, captured was uh, the camp was run by the uh, Luftwaffe and not the Nazis and so they really weren't treated they weren't physically abused um, and it was near the near to the end of the war and so the uh, Germans also didn't have a lot of food either so they're just he didn't feel he never felt that they were really uh, mistreated the prisoners in in a physical way in this document, it talks about uh, them, how they entertained each other by telling stories and also trying to dig tunnels out, which was not ever a very successful venture. <laughs> and the, they were quite clever in how they tried to hide the dirt and so forth, but it seemed that the Germans had some equipment that would detect such activity of digging a tunnel, and so they were always able to um, let the prisoners know they had found out about it. So, yeah, he and my mom both attended the uh, reunions where they were able to reunite with members of uh, of his crew. Um, all of the members of Dad's uh, B-17 crew survived both the uh, when the plane was going down, and uh, Dad was able to maintain control of the aircraft so that everyone could parachute out and um, also most, uh, almost all of the crew were, were at the same uh, Stalag left one uh, at Barth, Germany. So they were, they remained friends for uh, many years. Last year when Dad turned 100, we had a, a big celebration for him here at the uh, Veterans Home and State Senator Denny Hoskins from Warrensburg presented Dad with this um, proclamation which recounts his life and his history of uh, service uh, during World War II and after. The last paragraph was so meaningful to me because he says, Hale did not need much inspiration during his time of service. The only inspiration he needed was, and I quote Dad, just being a citizen of the United States and wanting to do the best for his country. 
he says, great credit deserves to be given to a man of such gallant actions and selfless dedication to his country. And um, we all really thank Dad for that service and, and what he did for our country during the war. And all of the veterans who sacrificed by uh, protecting our freedoms. Right, Dad? Yeah. you have any final words, Dad? Mm. Be happy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, be happy. <laughs>